Dude, are we actually gonna win this one? Ah, you stand by, piece of mother- <laughs> So Halo 2, epic matchmaking, awesome friends list, awesome ranking system. Look at this, dude. You can get a freaking ring at level 50. What? But good luck getting to level 50 because, of course, people have found a way to cheat. It's called standbying. Basically, what would happen is someone would be host and say they're winning the game. You know, they're not going to do anything. Okay, cool. They're winning. But say if they're losing the game and they're hosts, all they got to do is they run over to their freaking modem. They press the standby button. And how you saw in the beginning of the screen, that's what you're going to see. And they're going to be slapping you down, smacking you down, and freaking making sure they win that game. It was actually quite funny, too, back in the day when this would happen. People would be like, oh, no, dude, it's because you're freaking internet. Fix your internet, kid. I don't know, you know, typical trash talk. Like, No, dude, it was your internet, bro. I didn't stand by. You're just, you got a trash connection, kid. But eventually, Bungie found out about standbying, and they would start putting down the ban hammer if people were doing it a lot. But a lot of people really didn't care if they got banned because look, look at here, buddy. I got you a freaking two month card right here. These two month trial cards were just like floating around everywhere. If you got banned, who cares? Just make a new account here. You got it. Here's a two month, two month trial. I mean, unless you're like, oh, my name, my gamer tag, like no one really cared. Like just here you go. Here's another trial. But anyways, I mean, this would happen sometimes in the lower ranks, but it was mostly like 35 plus. The top level was 50. Yeah, I would say like once you get to those 30s, you're going to run into cheaters for sure. And that's just the way it was in Halo 2.